Hey guys, so a couple days ago I went to the theaters and saw another double feature. I haven't done this in a few weeks. Uh, the last one I did was Lego Batman movie and John Wick uh, 2, and that was a hell of a double feature. Um, there was, uh, honestly, this was a week where I, there was one movie in particular I was looking forward to, but the other one not so much, but I'll get into that here shortly, but uh, I, it'd probably be a while before I could post this uh, video online because my internet is completely out. Uh, we've had like a horrible windstorm today, so I'm surprised I'd be even record, be able to record this right now. So, um, the first movie I saw was Before I Fall. Uh, it's a movie that I got a trailer for maybe one time, <laughs> one time. And I almost forgot this movie even existed until like it was coming out. It's like before fall, before fall. I'm like, where the hell have I heard that? And I, I saw it was getting good, decent reviews. And I'm like, oh yeah, that's that movie about the girl who's it's basically Groundhog Day, but the girl experiences the day that she dies over and over and over again. All right, whatever. I said, I remember it looked harmless. It looked. Not didn't look very forget. It didn't look very memorable. Uh, it like I said, it's been getting decent reviews. Uh, like I think like a sixty, almost seventy percent on Rotten Tomatoes. So I was like, all right, I said maybe this will be decent. And like I said, this has been getting decent reviews. I was like, all right, I said, uh, and like I was like, all right, I'll have to check this out, see if it's any good. And honestly, I was actually generally surprised. Uh, I. Generally, kind of like this movie. Uh, it's nothing groundbreaking. It's nothing like that's gonna change the face of cinema or anything like that. Or uh, it's it's a fine film. It's perfectly fine. Uh, I that's that's mainly my takeaway from this movie was it was just perfectly fine. I'm always a big for some reason I'm always a big fan of those kinds of movies where. Like Groundhog Day, where a person experiences the same day over and over and over again, they have to change different things about their day. I said, I, I get a kick out of those kinds of movies, and this uh, is like your stereotypical uh, kind. Of, it's it's the, that it's the stereotypical kind of movie that you've seen a million times done before, like Groundhog Day and stuff like that, but. It's still pretty good. I said the acting is really good in the movie. The main girl is really good. Uh, is it? Is it? I forget what her name was. Is that the Zoe Deutsch or I don't know? She's an actress I've seen in like a lot of stuff in the supporting roles and stuff like that. And uh, a lot of people are like real high on her as an actress, and she's pretty good in this movie. Uh, pretty solid throughout the movie. Uh, she. Uh, her acting is pretty goddamn solid in the film. Uh, she's basically... The best way to describe this movie is if... You take... if uh, It's pretty much the story of Mean Girls, but mixed in with Groundhog Day. But it's say all of the Mean Girls die in a horrible car accident. And the Lindsay Lohan character keeps experiencing the same day over and over and over again. It's basically what this movie is. Uh, like, you have the blonde girls, kind of like the Rachel McAdams character, uh, like, basically a bitch, but, uh, you know, she has some redeeming qualities about her somewhat. Um, I was worried, like, going in the first half of this movie, first 20 minutes of this movie, I was like, oh, God, this is, like, some of us like, oh, Jesus, man, I was like, I was like, this is gonna be that kind of movie I can't stand movies about kids nowadays because they're fucking annoying and obnoxious and they're uh, I was like uh, this is I was like this is gonna be insufferable but it got better as it got along um I like you know it's their stereotypical uh you, you pretty much can go see where it's going uh with the movie honestly uh like you know somewhat that this what's going on has to deal with the crazy girl that they make fun of uh, uh, throughout the movie and like they torment at her at this party and you know whatever 
happened to them basically was just a chain reaction of what they did to her. You can figure it out from just the trailers alone. Um, I was kind of like expecting them to go like all carry on it on us with like she has telekinetic powers and fucking killing set was the one who killed killed them with their uh basically rolled her car over with her mind i was hoping that was the twist but it's more grounded in reality somewhat uh, <coughs> um i was kind of like i was i was expecting to go that route i was like that would be kind of funny <coughs> uh uh, I forget what the hell I also want to talk about. There's not much to talk about in this movie. It's a decent movie. Uh, the only thing I didn't like about this movie is the ending. The ending is like one of those endings you go, really? That's it? Really? And like, I sat there like, I figured there was more to it after like, it, it, when it because it cuts the black, and I'm like, oh, so they're probably going to add more, there's going to be a little bit more to this. Nope, it just fucking ends. And I'm like, oh, okay. I said, I have a lot of fucking questions. <laughs> uh, what happened to her friends? Uh, because of what happens at the end, does her friend survive? Uh, what What is the aftermath? Like, I, I have fucking many questions. Why was she experiencing this day over and over and over again? Never really is explained. They never really give you a fucking reason. Other than that, I guess in the, uh, in the I was reading that was a, based on a young <coughs> a young adult <coughs> damn young adult novel in that it's uh, like she experiences the stages of grief that people go through when they're dying and stuff like that and they don't really ever express that in this movie I guess I could kind of see it like now that somebody mentioned it um but they don't ever really cover that in this movie um uh I like the ending is just so abrupt and like I have fucking many questions after it It it's like really that's how you're gonna end it. It's kind of a fucking downer of an ending. Uh, <sighs> I don't know. I, I was not a big fan of that ending. Uh, not at all. Uh, yeah. I. I mean, even if, even despite that, I do kind of like. I, I recommend it. It's not. It's a harmless movie. There are better movies out there, uh, including the other movie I saw. Uh, but. Uh, it's it's a fine film. Uh, if you have a girlfriend or whatever that wants to see it, it's not a bad sit. Uh, if you're a guy that has a girlfriend and wants to see it, yeah, it's not a bad sit. You won't be that bored. It's a fine film. It's it, like I said, it's perfectly fine. Uh, I didn't have a problem with it at all. I found myself kind of enjoying it until the ver- like the only thing I that kind of bugged me was like I said the end of the movie, but that's about it. Uh, as far as trailers go, I only got one new trailer in front of this. Uh, it was called The Promise. Surprisingly, not a generic title for a god awful Nicholas Sparks movie, which pretty much it does sound like a fucking generic title for a Nicholas Sparks movie. Uh, it's so, it's a movie you got a lot of great actors. You got uh, Oscar Isaac and Christian Bale and some chick. Uh, they're like involved in this like love triangle that's set during a war, a civil war in like a uh, Middle Eastern country. I'm not sure which, what I forget what it was, what country it was, but uh, it's supposedly based off a true story. So I was like, oh, so this is basically Pearl Harbor. All right. Uh, but in a Middle Eastern country. All right. <laughs> uh, yeah, it looks a lot better than fucking Pearl Harbor, but uh, apparently it's not that, not getting very well received. I saw reviews popping up for it, and it's, it's not very good, but it's like, eh, it doesn't look too bad. I see you got Christian Bale and Oscar Isaac in it. That, that's a hell of a cast right there alone. Uh, yeah. It's like, eh, whatever. Uh, that's as far as trailers go. Wow, this might be one of my shortest reviews ever. Wow. (laughs) 
Uh, and uh, I'll be back here shortly with my other review.